All right, so um, when you're a barber, the key is to have, uh, uh, be efficient and be clean. So for bulk, like when you first do a haircut, the most efficient clipper is your Oster. This is the, the Octane, you can get one with a cord that's cheaper, and then you have the detachable uh, blades on it. But this is the best way at the beginning of a cut to get a good, uh, clean uh, bulk removal. So I use that for my bulk remover, removal. These are my general clippers. So I have a, a wall legend and then this is just a magic clip. This is good for clipper over comb work, uh, general work with your, with your plastics or whatever whatever you have on there. These are just general clippers. This is a, a, another magic clip, but I have a fade blade on it. So this is good for those zero fades, tighter fades. Same with this, uh, this is a, a alpha, a gamma. So same really, really thin blade for those really tight zero fades. Uh, this is my favorite detailer. It's the Babyliss Pro. Um, it's from, for, for my taste, this is the best blade to get those crisp lines. And then I always, um, I always say get a, a kid trimmer because this could be irritating to some little kids. Maybe it'll give them red marks. This is my kid trimmer, which is the Andis Slimline Pro. It's good around their ears because it's so small for little guys. So this is my kid trimmer and this is my adult trimmer. Um, uh, then you have your box shaver. This is for zero fades. Uh, this is this is a, a, a must for, for zero fades. You have to have your, your box shaver. Um, I have my hair grips for lineups and, and getting hair out of the way for undercuts, things like that. Uh, you have your, your, we call it our magic comb. This is for the, the best comb for clipper over comb work. Uh, flat tops, things like that. And then I really like the Cricut combs for general combing because it has the, the, the wider teeth and the shorter teeth for fading and then also for combing through. Uh, this is this is a Cricut comb. This is probably my, my most used comb for, for general clipper work. Uh, these are my shears. I have a long set for for uh, cleaning up haircuts at the end to get uh, you know any stray hairs. This is my general uh, shear, a six inch. And then you have your, your, uh, your thinning shears. I have my feather razor for bulk around the around the crown area. I'll use that to get the bulk out. I have the Andis uh, uh, fade brush. Uh, you always want some hair clips uh, for longer hair, removing it out of the way a little bit. Um, I always have a quiff roller, and this is good for blow drying 
and getting volume in the hair and it's called a quiff roller so you can grab some hair and roll it and then blow dry it and give it air and that'll give it that volume um, and then you always want to have extra combs for sanitation so if i drop one i always have a backup so i have two two of my main combs that i use so that way if something drops or if i forget it i always have extra uh, so that I think that's important. Um, you have your water bottle, aftershave, cool care, neck duster, barbicide, sharps container. Um, you always want to have a screwdriver nearby just in case something happens with one of your clippers. And then in your drawer, there's always some spare parts, some extra things that you might need just in case something happens. You never know when you have a long day back to back. Sometimes stuff stops working, you gotta grab something new. Uh, you, it's always good to have extra parts there for you as well. And then, you know, you always have extra blades. Um, yeah, that's about it. What about the pins? We had the to pins. see the pins. Yeah, man, this is just pins that some clients have given me over the years. That of course, represent the Cardinals. I think that one, that one and that one are my favorite. Yeah, these are pretty cool. My next question is, yeah. do, you, do you have a message to the youth? Like yeah. coming up barber students or anybody just growing up? Absolutely. Yep. Um, I think specifically to barber students, what we look for here, there's two main traits. Humility and empathy. Uh, within any industry or any time you're learning, for some, learning something, the, the two keys to success for the Bible are being humble and being empathetic. So if you're humble, you'll want to learn, you'll listen to critiques, criticism, you'll listen to your clients, if they have any critiques or criticism towards you, and then number two is empathy. Empathy means caring, means caring about other people, that caring about other people even if they can't do anything for you, that's empathy, feeling for other people. And any, any industry now is basically customer service, so you really have to care about people uh, and, 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 and feel for people. And that's the biggest thing is, uh, you know, if you're a barber student and you're worried about yourself or it's all, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a me mentality, you're not going to learn and grow as fast as someone that actually cares about other people and that wants to help other people. And sometimes that's a hard thing to learn and to adjust to, but I would say focus on giving more than you receive, whether it be for giving back, yeah, uh, caring about other people, going the extra mile. That was that, that, that the, the biggest thing in business, in my opinion, is to focus on giving more than you receive.